Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first post today is by Alien Blood, titled, Classmates Slept Over and Borrowed My Power Beats Pro. Hey, where did you put my headphones after you used them? I can't find them. I have them. Oh, can you bring them or I come get them? Why? You said I could have them. What? When? When I slept over. You told me you had some for me when I asked. Yeah, for you to borrow that night, not for you to keep. Oh, well, I'm still using them. I don't have any. Can I just keep them? No, those were a Christmas gift and my only wireless headphones. It's not like they're AirPods or anything. Just get a new pair. What? They were still like $250 headphones. But you said I could have them. Just get whoever gave them to you to buy you new ones. Please give back my headphones. Just because somebody bought them headphones doesn't mean they're going to go out and buy them another pair because you're refusing to give them back when they were lent to you. You didn't just borrow them, you stole them. This next one is by Morgana Stand, titled, Safe to say I didn't bother answering after this. Is your dresser taken? Can you deliver to Beggarsville? It's available, but you'd have to pick it up because I don't have a truck. Me neither. I need it today. My address is here in Beggarsville. I'm sorry. Other people are willing to come pick it up, so if you can't, I'll let them have it. I asked first. Yes, but I'm giving it away for free, so come get it or I'll give it to somebody else. Even if you have to come another day, I'm willing to wait. I need this today. My address is here in Beggarsville. There's a difference between needing and wanting. You don't need it today because if you did, you would do what was required to go and pick it up. This next one is by Coates Lee titled, I hate everyone. Hey, can you... I need a ride to Walmart. I hate everyone on Facebook. You ask people you hate for rides? Dude, watch out, cause someone will give you a ride to Mexico and leave you like, you hate me, remember? <laughs> I mean, you can't really argue with that. Why are you gonna get into the car with someone you hate? And on top of that, why are you gonna ask someone you hate to do something for you? This next one is by Ultra Pulse, titled, An old rehab acquaintance asks me for help, but refuses to take it. What should I say next? Hi, how are you? I am Beggy. I'm living with both my sons and out electricity was shut off. Can you help us anyway? I know who you are. Okay, can you help me and my sons? Who's your electric company? Peck, Pecco. Call their number. I've done this with Central Hudson before and ask for a bill pay extension. Also, I think it's illegal to shut off electricity in the coldest months. Sends a pig. Well, they did. What's their number in your address? I'll make a complaint as a cop. <laughs> no, that's okay. Sends another pig. Call the police then, because it's illegal for them to do so whether you pay or not. Do you just need money for something else? Wouldn't want your sons in the cold. I got a son now, and watching him be cold sucks. Well, they said unless I pay $87, I'm beat. Can I get your account number? I'll pay that via a phone call. 1-800-494-4000. I called and tried to pay your bill, but they couldn't let me know what your account balance is unless I have your address or account number. So I tried. Send me $87 and I'll pay and s send you the receipt. Or, you know, you could provide them with your address or account number so maybe they could pay your bill properly. It seems like you need that money for something other than electricity. This next one is by JMLA Beglin, titled, Not Me, But My BFF. This lady was pissed that she wasn't first come to a first come first serve porch pickup. For your information, cyberbullying is a crime, and if you have children, maybe I should call CPS on you. Just remember, you gave me your address, and I can turn you into CPS because you're a bully, and you need to be straightened out by someone. Law enforcement can do that. 
Maybe you need to go to some severe mental facility to get some counseling for your attitude because nurses are abusive and you are one abusive chick. CPS would take your children away from you, little girl, because you obviously are an abuser to people. Just remember you gave me your address so I could send CPS to your home. And if this is literally all over not being first come to a first come first serve dealing, then you know what? This person should be the one checking themselves into the severe mental facility for trying to think that CPS is going to take someone's kids because they didn't get what they wanted. This next one is by Mike WNFFC, titled, Woman Leaves Poor Review, Gets Shut Down by Owner. Awful Christmas party. We recently had our Christmas party at blank. All I can say is that 30 members of staff felt extremely disappointed and ripped off. We were charged 20 pounds each for a buffet that included sandwiches, a choice of four dreadful desserts, some lukewarm jalapeno poppers, food parcels, and mini pizzas. We were then shoved in the corner of the room and closed off. There was no room to dance. The DJ didn't start until 9pm and he actually plays every Thursday night regardless of parties. So the fact that we had paid 20 pounds for a buffet, yet we had gone to the restaurant, we could have actually had a two course meal. Duty manager didn't seem to care and explained that what we got was what the $20 Christmas party had entailed. In addition to this, the drinks were extremely overpriced. My partner was driving and it was two pounds 20 pence for a small diet coke and around six pounds 50 pence for a single gin and mixer. Definitely won't be visiting again, not under any circumstances. Hello there. We're really sorry to read your review about your party with us last week and so sorry you were disappointed with your experience with us. We take all feedback, positive and negative, very seriously. However, after watching the CCTV and speaking to our management team, I feel I should clear a few inaccuracies up. Number 1. My team were personally thanked by many guests within your party with regards to the food and the service they received on the evening. So to say that everyone was disappointed and felt ripped off is unfair, as many stated the food was lovely and they'd had a great time. Number 2. When you made your booking with us, you specifically requested that you didn't want a sit-down meal and preferred a buffet option. A bespoke buffet menu was created for you and the contents of that said buffet and costs were explained at the time, to which you agreed. The buffet you ordered included a selection of fresh canapes, freshly made roast ham and mustard, coronation chicken, cheese, mayo and red onion and egg mayo sandwiches, large hand-stretched margarita and pepperoni pizzas, mini quiches, vegetable crolines, a selection of fresh leaf salads and potato salads, warm cranberry and brie. Number 3. You were allocated the whole raised area in and why not. You certainly wasn't shoved in any corner. You make it sound like we herded you like cattle. That's certainly not true. Number 4. We booked the DJ with your party in mind with no extra cost to yourselves, and we do not have DJs usually on Thursdays. Yet again, another untruth from you. You stated to our management that the DJ was crap. Was this because he explained that he couldn't play the upbeat house music you repeatedly asked for? Our DJ quite rightly was being respectful to the other 80 or so diners at that time by declining your request. Number 5. Your stated drinks prices are completely false. A. We do not serve a small Diet Coke and B. Our house gin, Bombay Sapphire, is certainly not £6.50 pence for a single plus a mixer again. Your review is incorrect. Number 6. To summarize, the only part of this review which I 100% agree with is the part where you say you won't be visiting us again. That in and of itself is music to my ears. As it's Christmas Eve as I type this, goodwill to all men and all that, 
I've decided that I won't mention the school where you all teach as that would embarrass some of your party, who were clearly lovely. I won't mention the two empty bottles of Disarono Amaretto we found under the table after you left that you had clearly brought with you, and finally, I won't mention the bottle full of vomit that one of your guests left with us either. So yes, you're right, you certainly will not be visiting us again. Not ever. And finally, number 7, there's a school book called Telling the Truth by Carolyn Larson on Amazon. It's £3.99. You know, the way they broke this down is great, and being able to talk to their staff, knowing that some of the members of that party were actually satisfied, being able to check the CCTVs, and pick this negative review apart bit by bit is actually great. If this beggar does not understand all of this, then they shouldn't be teaching, they should be learning. This next one is by a noob searcher titled No Recommendation for Her Because She Went to a Funeral Instead of Taking Care of My Dog. An extremely irresponsible person. She said she would take care of my dog. I booked two months in advance so there was no surprises. Of course she cancelled 20 days before the date, giving some lame excuse about someone's funeral to be held in three weeks time. No recommendation for her. Dear Beggar, I'm very sorry for this last cancellation. It was also for me something that I didn't expect and really hard to handle. It's a very complicated situation. I can send you a picture of the invitation from the funeral and know that this was not an excuse, more than a painful situation. I hope you can find someone to take care of your dog. Have a nice day. It's a shame that this beggar has never had any sort of family emergency, no deaths in the family, attended no family funerals, anything like that because the way they're talking makes it seem like they've never had an emergency or family emergency come up where they had to put everything else on hold. And our final post today is by Faded GT, titled, This guy messaged me trying to buy my 1994 Camaro. You're lucky I'm looking at it. 1994 Chevrolet Camaro, 2500. 1K cash. Thank you for the offer, but that is much lower than I'm looking for. What do you want? I'll go as low as 2300. Car is old. Wake up. You're lucky I'm looking at it. <laughs> I feel so lucky. Oh yeah, cause nobody else in the world's gonna try to look at a 1994 Chevrolet Camaro. This beggar is the only one. They're right. Oh my goodness. You need to sell it to them for their grand because nobody else is gonna look at it. <laughs> Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and have a great day.